to my beloved family. By the time you read this, I may be gone. I write to you in my bleakest hour. The despair swirls around me like... Like... Like a wave of grape jello swallowing me in its inky blackness. This cursed quest has bred futility upon disappointments, and desperate times call for desperate measures. Remember me, dear family, for my love of cats, my impeccable fashion sense, rugged Brad Pitt-like good looks. I love you all. One day, all this uncertainty will surely end. Tonight, we venture into the realm of the excessive, the overindulgent, the hazardous, the life-changing, the foreboding territory of Swanson. Swanson. <coughs> so join me once again as we go in search of the next cashew chicken. Hi folks, I'm Corey. Today we explore new ground by taking on the Hungry Man entree line. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. We all knew this was coming, but for any serious exploration of frozen foods, all roads lead back to the motherland. Swanson. Swanson. <laughs> We're gonna be tackling the pub favorite beer battered chicken dinner. I've been training for this mission for literally days now. Hydrating. Bulking up. <sighs> Sharpening my reflexes. <laughs> Meditation. <laughs> of all the entrees, this is by far the most daunting. The Everest of the industry, if you will. <laughs> this one weighs in at a shamu like 411 grams and packs an astronomical 970 calories. See? Both hands. It includes enough fat to provide 100% of the daily recommended intake. No joke, 97% of the day's sodium with 2,330 milligrams. So close. Now before people interpret this as a suicide attempt, let me reassure you. I've got my special gloves on, my protective goggles, plus I have a prominent cardiologist on call. No, I've broken out the big utensils for this. So with everything in place, let's heat it up. All right, so when it comes to first impressions, we're hoping for this, and we're actually getting this. Can you spot the differences? There are 37. There's a, there's a part here at the top where it looks like the potato is trying to escape. Like, uh, maybe it knows something we don't. Now, for all you impressionable kids out there, don't try this at home. This is going to be a big job, so I should probably put the cones out here, too. Now, the package says that the uh, chicken is chopped and formed, which is uh, actually kind of comforting because I... I don't want to know what part of the chicken this comes from exactly. If these are chicken fingers, he's not playing the piano anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so the vegetables look all right. They seem to be thoroughly cooked. The chicken is, uh, well, looking a little soggy actually on the bottom. Um, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but uh, a little crispier than this possibly. Maybe it's just the, the microwave effect. We get the brownie at the top, just like mom used to make if uh, mom was a robot. I'm not sure what to make of the fact that the chicken is stuck together like this. Hang on a second. P.S. That was not a prayer over the food. With apologies to every gym teacher that tried to explain proper nutrition to me. Wow, that is terrible chicken. Terrible. Uh, it's, it's simultaneously dry and mushy at the same time. How is that even possible? Okay, so the chicken's a bit of a write-off. Let's see how the rest of the uh, the entree fares. So let's try the potatoes. Not as fluffy as I usually like my starch, but the potatoes taste buttery, but they're uh, kind of crusty at the top here, so it sort of makes for a weird combination of textures. It seems like an excellent entree to be eaten on a dare. Let's try the vegetables here. These are some things that I recognize. Uh, they look fresh. They look crisp. Vegetables are okay. Kind of secondary versus everything else here, but... They're okay. I'm kind of digging on the carrots here, though. They're tender, and they're round, more importantly, which is uh, kind of a first, I think, for the entrees we've tried so far. I'm going to see what's happening with this brownie here. It is uh, brown, which is kind of the minimum requirement. Tastes not bad. If, if you were looking for an entree that had uh, uh, vegetables and a brownie, I'm not sure what's wrong with you, but you could certainly not go wrong with, with those two parts here. Now, on the question of is it filling, well... <laughs> Yes, at 411 grams, it's filling. With this amount of fat and, uh, and, and just sheer volume, 
uh, you'd, uh, you'd, you'd have to be extraordinarily hungry to, to not be filled by this. I think it's an entree we could highly recommend as a last meal for convicts. Now, as far as the question of is it the next cashew chicken, if you have to ask, you haven't been paying attention. There's no cashews, there's no rice, not even really chicken in the conventional sense. Does the brownie save the entree? Sadly, no. But it's an excellent attempt at a distraction. Sorry, Swanson. Swanson! Stop that! Die! 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 Victory! So large or small, the entree is kind of a bust. But, if you're looking for a fine beverage so the evening's not a total waste, I could recommend a Grenache or maybe an imported beer. But to fully resolve the evening, I'd highly recommend you consider the White Zinfandel from the Gallo family. With the convenient screw cap. Some for you? Heineken. Okay. Well, we've been to the top of the mountain. Now it's time for the descent and some much needed rest. So, until next time, bon appetit, and the quest continues.